Hello everyone. It is December 27th. Um, I missed Christmas morning reading our last story because I had terrible phone problems and couldn't video record nor upload. So I had to get a new phone and I couldn't do that until today. So this is a very good story though for the whole Christmas season, so I think you'll be fine with it. I'm sorry for the delay, but we have to finish our Santa beard. Okay, this is called Little Star, and it's by Anthony Stefano. The illustrations are by Mark Elliott. Just fix my, okay. Dad, which one is the Christmas star? The boy asked, straining his eyes as he looked out at the clear, dark sky. The father, smiling, looked down at his son. Don't hurt your eyes looking for him. You won't find him. He's not up there anymore. Where is he? Where did he go? You mean I never told you the story of the Christmas star before? No, Dad, never. The boy shook his head. Please, tell me. Well, a long time ago, in the farthest corner of the universe, there was a tiny star. In fact, he was the smallest star in the heavens. His name was Little Star. Little Star was sad and lonely. The other stars didn't make fun of him. They simply ignored him because he was so tiny. But what can be worse for a star than to be ignored? After all, stars do little more than decorate the sky. They help pass the long evenings by Twinkle Talk. And there was a lot of twinkling going on. The other stars were all talking about a rumor they had heard for ages, a rumor that a king would soon be born on a faraway planet called Earth. It was known that the king had a special message that would change the whole world forever. As the great day approached, excitement among the stars began to build. A special reward was to be given to the star who could shine the brightest on the night the baby king was born. In preparation, the stars were being cleaned and dusted by long-tailed comets. This made them twinkle and sparkle and give off a much stronger light. All except Little Star, who was being ignored again, despite his tears. Little Star was so sad that his points drooped. How could an undusted star have any chance of winning the reward? Finally, on the coldest night of the year, one of the stars yelled, it's happening, it's happening. The king is going to be born. Far below in the small village of Bethlehem, Little Star could see two people, a woman sitting on a donkey and a man walking beside her. He watched as they searched for somewhere to rest. It was bitter cold and Little Star felt sorry for them. Wherever they went, no one seemed to want them. People can be cruel too, he thought.
At last, the man and the woman located a place to stay. It was a shabby stable, but at least it gave them protection against the icy winds. This is a strange way for a king to be born, thought Little Star. Then, with only the silent stars as witnesses, the child was born. The mother wrapped the baby in a blanket and carefully placed him in a straw-filled manger. The baby's name was Jesus. He can't be king, one of the stars said. Kings aren't born poor. We've been fooled. Feeling disappointed, many of the stars agreed. But Little Star kept looking down at the baby. Suddenly, a thought came to him. I think I understand, Little Star cried out. The baby Jesus is a king. He's just little. Little Star knew that Jesus could have been chosen to be born in a palace surrounded by riches, but instead he had humbled himself to be born in a stable. He didn't want to be rich and important. He wanted to be like the poorest of the poor. Jesus wanted to be born little to show all the people of the world that he loved them, no matter how small or poor they were. Of all the stars in the heavens, Little Star was the only one to understand the king's message. His message was love. Little Star's heart was bursting with joy. He wanted so badly to touch the child. Trying as hard as he could, he used all his strength and might to reach out with his light toward the earth. Burning brighter and brighter, he extended his rays down to the village of Bethlehem, into the cold stable, warming and lighting it with his love. The other stars were amazed. They had never seen Little Star so big and bright but they were scared that he was burning too brightly for such a small star. Stop, they all yelled. Stop, or you'll burn yourself out. Little Star could not hear their warnings. He was only aware of the child in the cold stable. All through the long, cold night, Little Star burned as brightly as he could so the baby Jesus could be warm. When dawn came, the star that no one had ever noticed was tiny and gray. Little star is gone, the other stars cried. He burned himself out. Well, son, said the father, that's the story of the Christmas star. But he's gone. The boy felt very sad. No, he's not. He's not gone at all. The father patted his son's hand to reassure him. You see, Little Star did a wonderful thing that night in Bethlehem. He gave his life so the baby Jesus could be warm. And God gave him a great reward in return. Little Star will be remembered forever and ever. You mean Little Star isn't gone, asked the boy. No, he's alive, the father said. Every Christmas, when we celebrate Jesus' birthday, people all over the world place a star on top of their Christmas tree 
to remember him. The boy looked up at the star on top of the Christmas tree and smiled. Little Star by Anthony Stefano. Well, better late than never. We're going to finish our beard. <laughs> Supposed to be on Christmas Day, but it's okay. As long as we're finished, right? Okay. There we've got it, 25 Christmas stories. Well, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I'm sure you did, and we will see you soon. Thank you.